Hi there guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install a fence on top of a brick wall and I'm going to start right now. Now to install this fence on top of this wall, we're going to be using these four inch by four inch bolt downs. These are FenceMate Swift Clamp Bolt Down Post Supports. Now we're going to be securing the bolt downs to the top of this wall using these Thunderbolts. These are Thunderbolts or masonry screws, 150mm bolts, M10s. Now, you, all you have to do to use these is pilot hole through into the concrete and then this screw straight in. When installing a bolt down onto the top of a wall, you need, all you need to be sure of is that the wall is wider than the actual base of the bolt down and at least four inches thick. These can also be installed on any flat hard surface that you can get a masonry screw into. Because this wall isn't quite flat and there's a bit of a slant in the wall, we're going to be using these M10 washers to just build up the front side here to then bring these, these bolt downs level. But I'll show you that later on. So I have a 2x4 bolted on the wall at that end and then a 2x4 bolted on the wall on the other side. And then we've got the string line running between the two. So this is going to give us the position of our bolt down plates. You've got everything marked up, it's in position, it's ready to be drilled. And now you just want to mark out your holes with a pencil on the wall. And then you can move that out of the way to make your life a bit easier. We're going to be using this Makita 36 volt hammer drill with an 8mm masonry bit on it. And we need to drill the whole length of this masonry drill bit to accommodate the 150mm bolt. Okay, we've got our holes drilled and we're ready to bolt down this plate now. So position the plate, but we need to make sure this plate is level. As you can see, it's slightly off on that side. It needs to be raised up on this side. And this way, it needs to be raised up on this side as well. So we need to put washers in underneath this plate here to bring this plate up level. Okay, once you've drilled the holes for your bolt down and you've put washers in underneath the bolt down to, to bring it up level on all sides, it's perfectly level that way, perfectly level that way, we're ready to now put in the thunderbolts. Now you're going to need to use an impact driver or you could use a ratchet and socket and you're going to need a 15mm socket. Once you've got the bolt downs bolted to the concrete, it's a pretty simple process of just literally slotting in the post and as you can see we've got a close board here and the rails go into Aris rails so you just need to tip the post back, slot the rails in and tip the post back up level as you put each rail in. Of course if you didn't have this and you're putting in panel fencing 
It's a simple case of just dropping the fence post into the bolt down plate and now we're going to tighten up the bolts on the plate whilst maintaining the post level. Okay, once you've tightened up the bolts as tight as they go, just check level again. That's perfectly level. And also, if you can see on the front of here, you've got a little hole. You've got holes all the way around the outside, but the holes on the side are for if you want to put cleats on, and then on front and back, you can put in a screw with a washer, and that just keeps the post secure inside the bolt down. And then just put, I usually just put one in. That's going to make sure that that post will never come out. And then you move on to the next one. So once you've put your posts in, you've got your rails in, then you want to put your gravel board, centre stump, and then doing all the feathers. But I'll go through a bit more detail in another video and I'll leave a link to that just in the top, just up here. Okay guys, so that is just one way of how to install a fence on top of a brick wall. There are many other ways and I will make videos for those as well so stay tuned don't forget to like give it a thumbs up subscribe by clicking the subscribe button on the end screen of this video and i'd be much appreciated thank you very much see you next time <laughs>